Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you just how just stupid easy it is to make a mood board in InDesign. So if you've downloaded the template from the website, you'll see that there's all these master pages that have these frames set up on them. So you can click through, see which one maybe makes sense for what you're trying to show or what images you've picked out. And you know, you can actually apply one of these masters to the blank page. So I'm going to go with the G master just this one with the six circles. Now to apply this to my blank page, all I need to do is click on my blank page, right click, apply master to pages, then choose G master, click, okay. And now if I go into my blank page, it's actually already had this frame, um, these frames set to it. So we can actually put images into the frames now. Now if I go to file, place, this is going to let me place the images that I know I want to include in the mood board. So you can see the shortcuts control plus D. It's a really handy shortcut to uh, remember in the future. So I'm going to do place and make sure it's all files. And we can see all the images that I'm going to use for this particular mood board. Now I could do this process individually, but I know because I'm going to use all six of these images, I'm just going to go ahead and place them all at once. So I've select all six and then I press open. And now it's going to give me this little thumbnail so I can know which image is coming up and I can place it where I want to on my composition. So I'm going to place this one here. I'm going to place this one here. Put this one here. Let's put this one here, we'll put this one here, and we'll put this one here. So that was pretty much it. All we've done is place all these images into their frames. As you can see, they're a little big for their frames right now. So the really quick fix for this is just select all of them, right click, fitting, fill frame proportionally. And you can see they've all started to kind of get into a little bit better of a framing within the circle. Now I can still go in and manipulate them. So the phone is not really showing up. So I'm going to double click where it's the um, brown frame around the image. And I'm actually going to just scoot this over a little. So you can see now the image is actually in the frame. And I'm going to do the same thing to the dog too. Double click and I'm going to just pull him down a little so we can see his ear. And with that, if I just press the W key, we can start to see what it's like going to look like when it's um, printed to a PDF. Uh, I think it works, and it was done very quickly. So now when you're ready to make it into just a PDF or, you know, something that you can actually send to a client, all you need to do is go to an Adobe PDF preset, and I would probably recommend the quality print and potentially maybe the smallest file size, if that makes sense as well. Hope that helps.